Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back. Alright, so in this video we want to learn how to do wealth pocket. So you place your dart at the middle point of the trouser or in most cases from the straight line you measure 5.5 inches inwards and then do your dart leg of half an inch and length of 3.5 then pocket opening of 5 inches or 5.5 depending on your customer's size. Then after that you bring your placket Alright, so now you bring your plaquettes, then you place the plaquette at the end point where the threading is, then use a machine footer and thread it all through this way. Alright, so thread all through this way. Then once you get there, please double stitch, cut your threads. Make sure you have also fixed your lining underneath. So now you place the second one and then thread as well. The gap from the first threading and the second threading must be half an inch. That is the recommended size for your weld pocket placket. Then thread all through this way. So once you thread all through this way, you also make sure that the thread stops from the same point where the first one stops. Then double thread it as well. Then you put it together this way. And then notch the midpoint. Notch the midpoint. And then cut all through this way. And then stop like half an inch before there then fold the placket in this form and then place your scissors in this way so once i've got to this stage make sure that the notching is ending at the same point where the thread ended please use the, the, the scissors tip and make sure it doesn't exceed that position then fold this way as well also notch in this form notch in a way that it will not um, pull up look at it then do the same thing on the other edge. Remember, you will stop like one inch before the end of the threading. And then fold all through that way. Then notch as shown. Notch as shown. This way. Then do the same thing as well on the other side. Open it up this way. Notch as shown. So once you have done this, then you now start folding your pockets. Then you have to fold or push in the up one inside, push it in, in this form. It comes out in this form. Then you now fold this to be half an inch of the size which you have used in stitching um, your opening, pocket opening. So once you have gotten that folding rightly, the next to do now is to tuck it in this way. Tuck it in as well, this other way as well. Right, then once you're done with that, you arrange the tip. Make sure that the tip is properly arranged. Then hold the angular tongue-like effect and then thread on that line. Make sure you thread on that line or that position. Thread very well so that it doesn't pull up, right? So once you're done with that, you cut off the excess um, placket measurements, right? I have videos of this from the beginning. I'm just trying to explain to you guys how this one was made. Look at how neatly finished yeah, it looks like. Then do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that you arrange the pocket tip very well. Tuck it out this way. And then make sure it's lapping properly. And then thread it from that same position. So this is how you do your welt pocket for your back pocket. Now please note that your size of the pocket opening varies in accordance to your size, to your customer's uh, measurement. So once you are done with that, the next thing to do now is to hold the underneath fabric this way. Then thread it with that tongue-like effect. Thread it from there in this position. So once you are done threading, you now do the pocket closure. So which I will do as well and then show you guys the results. Then, once you are done with this, the next thing to do here now is to fold the plaquettes. Fold it in this way. And then you thread the lining of the pocket seam right to the line of the pocket seam. So once you have done it that way, this is how it looks like. Then cut off our threads, cut off our threads. 
then you fold the up one as well. So you fold the up one, make sure it comes to the tip area, then hold it from there. Then fold it to this point. Make sure the lining is longer than the main trouser length. Then hold from there and then you thread it. Thread all through to these very points and then you lock the up area cut or threads cut or threads and then the next thing to do now is to tuck in the edge this way tuck in the edge this way please watch closely so while approaching the other part of the lining fold it inwards as well and then thread thread out through thread out through this way and from there also reinforce the down line so that it gets to be stronger if you don't thread it any slightest sharp objects can tear it off right so always bear this in mind this way and then thread it all through this way Spread it all through this way. So once you're done with that, this is the all you need to do. It's now time for us to lock the up area with the trouser part. So just hold it there, spread it all through, and you are good to go. So guys, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you subscribe to my channel, like and comment and share. Also tell me where you're watching from. See you guys in my next video. This is how the lining, the pocket looks like. See? Very neatly done. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye for now.